everybody! I am Miss Melanie and I'm here with tips for you and your baby. Now, today this video is for you parents and caregivers out there. It's to give you some new fun ideas of activities, songs, and other fun things you can do with your little one to help create some happy, intimate moments that are also going to help them get ready to read. Today I have baby Aiden with me and baby Aiden's gonna help uh, demonstrate some of these bouncy songs we're gonna explore today. So when you do a bouncy song where you're bouncing your young one on your knee, there's several positions you yourself as an adult can sit in. You can have both legs out and bounce like so. You could try just one leg out, bounce like so. Maybe try your other leg, or you could sit in a chair. So there's lots of different modifications you yourself can do to make this more comfortable, because baby's gonna have more fun when you're having fun and comfortable too. This first song we're gonna demo is called Mother and Father and Uncle John. This is a simple bouncy song that speeds up in tempo and how fast you're bouncing. It also has some leans in it. If your baby right now still needs support for their head, feel free to do any sort of modification that feels comfortable to do with baby. This slap sit song should be fine for three months and older. Everything depends on your baby though, and you and what you feel comfortable with. All right, here we go. I am going to have both my legs out to bounce. Here we go. Mother and father and uncle John went to town one by one. Mother fell off. Father fell off, but Uncle John went on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Good job, everybody. So in that song, we speed up the bouncing. And we also have those leans. So sometimes I'll put out a hand even, but as much as you can lean, baby. All right, and that could also be leaning forward or back instead of side to side. Let's try it again. I'm gonna sing it a little slower. And here we go. Start with bouncing. Mother and father and Uncle John went to town one by one. Mother fell off, father fell off, but Uncle John went on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Good job, everybody. Excellent. Let's do it one more time. Start bouncing. Mother and father and Uncle John went to town one by one. Mother fell off, father fell off, but Uncle John went on and on and on and on and on and on and on. <laughs> Yay, very fun, very good. I think baby Aiden liked it too. All right, I'm gonna put baby Aiden down here for a moment. And I have a few things next to me today. I have some shakers. They're slightly different. One is more like a rattle and has that thin grip for baby to practice grasping things. But oftentimes when baby is very, very young, an egg-shaped shaker is easier for them to grasp with their hands because they are just learning their hand movements. If you don't have any shakers, that's fine. You can make some with objects that might already be, ha be around your house, like a water bottle and you can fill it with dried rice. You could fill it with dried beans. You could try different things and explore different sounds. And maybe that could engage older siblings too 
to help make these noise toys and talk about how the noises are different and maybe what they like more. Does one sound like rain? Does one sound like hail? Does, who knows? Just start having the conversation. <laughs> All right, so those are the shakers. Shakers help baby use a few senses. They're hearing and that physical tactile sense too. So they're very engaging and fun. You can incorporate them in your lap sit if you're bouncing. You could also hit a shaker. Or you can encourage your little one to shake while you bounce them. So those are my fun shakers over here. Now, I also have two stuffed animals and one, one is a hand puppet. Now baby's brain is still developing and their eyes, their brain, and their way of seeing things around them are developing and are very different from how we see it. So let me bring out baby Aiden again if you have a hand puppet or simply a stuffed animal, he's so cute. <laughs> if you have a nice intimate moment with baby and stuffed animal close an individual time to baby and you can make the moo sound, you can encourage baby to make sounds with you. And it's a very special, magical, intimate experience for baby. And it's so easy and simple to do this at home. And it does not need to be a hand puppet. It can simply be a normal stuffed animal. Now all babies are different. So it's not a guarantee they'll like up close personal time. But a lot of times if the stuffed animal, the cuddly one, can fill baby's entire view, like if someone was very close to you. It really engages their little brains and they like it. They like it a lot usually, but all babies are different. So those are the two types of toys I brought today to explore these shakers are made by Lakeshire and they have our logo on it. And these stuffed animals are made by Auror. And this little guy is made by Faithful Friends Collectibles, which is a small Scottish company. So thank you for letting us use all of those ideas. I want to challenge you to take something that you learned from our video today and maybe do it at home, whether it's find a toy, make a toy, have an experience. Now, before we leave today, I want to leave you with one more song. This isn't a bouncy song. This is a rocking song with a kiss mwah, and a lift in it. Now, if your arms are tired or lifting isn't accessible for you, you can always lift your hands. And maybe encourage baby to lift their hands. Woo. So there's always modifications to make this better for you. Remember, if you're having fun, baby is probably going to have fun. Okay, this song is called Aka Baka Soda Cracker. I will sing it slowly. The lyrics is in the details of this video or at any point you can also turn on closed captioning. All right, aka baka soda cracker. So I do like to sit cross-legged and hold baby like this for rocking. You can certainly put your both your legs out. You can be in a chair, whatever is comfortable for you. Here we go. And I start off with rocking. Aka baka soda cracker, aka baka boo. Aka baka soda cracker, I love you. Kiss. Aka baka soda cracker, aka baka boo. Aka baka soda cracker, up goes you. Woo! That's when we do the lift. 
So, it has rocking, it has a kiss, mwah, and a lift. Here we go. Akabaka soda cracker, akabaka boo. Akabaka soda cracker, I love you. Kiss. Akabaka soda cracker, akabaka boo. Akabaka soda cracker, up goes you. Akabaka soda cracker, akabaka boo. Akabaka soda cracker, I love you. Kiss. Akabaka soda cracker, akabaka boo. Akabaka soda cracker, up goes you. Woo! Great job, everybody. I hope that you got some new ideas today and had some fun and we will see you next week with tips for you and your baby with Miss Renee.